Do you have a diabetic animal, specifically a cat with type 2 diabetes? It's really common in our animals, specifically our cats that are overweight. This brand new remedy can really help. Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. Diabetes, it's increasingly being diagnosed in our cats. Typically, we have a cat like Cassian. He is a little bit on the overweight side. He loves food and he really, really, really likes this yummy high carb cat kibble. Hmm. But there's a huge problem, if especially if we continue to eat this. The carbohydrates in this kibble, Cassian being cat, he's not designed to break these down. Meaning every time he would eat the kibble, he has this marked spike in blood sugar. And then you're asking your cat's pancreas to produce insulin, have the cells to respond to that insulin properly, bring that sugar into the cells. But because he's a cat, he lacks a bunch of the different enzymes to properly break down that blood sugar and properly store it. So because of that, his blood system is repeatedly flooded with blood glucose. His body just lacks the ability to rapidly break it down. And eventually over time, the cells, they stop responding. And that's the definition of type 2 diabetes. Primarily, we're seeing it in cats as opposed to dogs. Their pancreas still produces insulin, but the cells, they no longer respond to the insulin. And they're not responding because you've got a cat that's overweight. We've repeatedly caused spikes in blood sugar because he's been fed typically high carb kibble. And that's turned him into a type 2 diabetic. Cassian isn't that. He isn't a diabetic yet. But if I were to keep feeding him dry cat kibble, in all likelihood, this cat, he would become a diabetic. Some of the big clinical signs, increased drinking, increased urination. These guys can have initially an increased appetite, but as the diabetes progresses, they can start to feel quite sick. They can have things called ketones, develop a condition called diabetic ketoacidosis. And in this instant, you've got a cat that has probably been in, had increased drinking, increased urination for a period of time, and then he becomes clinically really ill. Most of the cats that I saw in practice that were diabetic, they were typically overweight, kind of like Cassian is, and they would come in with a history of increased drinking, increased urination, and their pet parents were just trying to like figure it out. Like, what's he got going on? Why is he drinking so much? Why is he peeing so much in the letter box? And then more often than not, we do an appropriate workup and i.e. blood work and analysis and we'd see diabetes. Most diabetic cats, they do go home starting on an insulin, you know, a pretty typical dose, 0.2 units twice a day. But I wanted to show you a one brand new remedy which potentially could be really helpful. It's called this Peptudia. It's a bioactive ingredient isolated from milk protein. What it's doing is helping your cat regulate blood sugar after they've eaten. So initially after many of our animals eat, there's a marked spike in blood sugar. This specific ingredient, which is completely natural, isolated from milk protein, it decreases that blood sugar spike. It's primarily working by inhibiting an enzyme called alpha-glucosidase. And what this enzyme does is every time your cat ingests all these carbohydrates, the enzyme breaks them down quickly into blood sugar so then can be absorbed in the intestinal tract. The peptidia, it's inhibiting that enzyme. So guess what? The carbs aren't broken down into glucose. It's not being rapidly absorbed. So it's limiting the absorption of glucose after a meal resulting in much lower post-meal blood glucose levels. We're not seeing that big glucose spike. Secondarily, it's working by increasing the production of a hormone called GLP-1. And this hormone is primarily responsible for protecting and preserving pancreatic function. So it's working in two key ways. Number one, we're not seeing those blood sugar spikes. The pancreas has to work far less harder. It doesn't have so much glucose to deal with and tell the cells to absorb. And guess what? The pancreas is then able to function more effectively, i.e. produce more insulin. There has been a number of clinical trials and studies with Peptudia. Number one, they've looked at the specific enzymes, the alpha glucosidase, and they've seen it when Peptudia is given, there's a 40% reduction in activity of this enzyme. And that's what you want. You want this enzyme to be less effective. So then those complex carbohydrates, they stay as carbohydrates 
and they get passed through. They're not getting converted to a simple sugar, i.e. glucose. They're not getting absorbed, which is awesome. Like that's what you want. And then secondarily, it's helping make the pancreas much more effective, i.e. allowing the pancreas to produce adequate insulin so your dog or cat is not diabetic in the first place. And they've seen a marked increase in this GLP-1 of upwards of 400% when these guys are given Peptidia. But still, those are just clinical studies. You know, they're look, they're looking at the enzyme. They're looking at this hormone, GLP-1, being produced, which is great. But what about the end result? Like, ultimately, you want to know that if you were to give this to your cat, for instance, or even your dog who is diabetic, is it really going to make a difference? So the biggest thing, which I'm like most keen on, is it really is making a difference. So then some of the studies showing that this actually works. Well, number one, they're seeing up to a 21% reduction in blood sugar levels after a meal. 20%, which is pretty darn big. So when you have that mark reduction, you don't get the spike, the pancreas doesn't need to work as hard, the insulins that present can work, and then the blood sugar that's in the bloodstream can then enter the cells. And the biggest thing to know that long-term, they've seen after six weeks, they've seen a marked reduction in overall blood sugar levels. They've seen a significant reduction in glycated hemoglobin levels, which represents a blood sugar level over the last three months. Significant reduction. The company, they're suggesting a cat and dog dose of 15 milligrams per kilo. This here is the one for cats. Each little snack has about 22 milligrams of peptidia, meaning a average five kilo cat. You get somewhere between three to four of these little crunchy things a day. So the cool thing is I got to try them out with Mr. Cassie in here. Here, here kitty. And he really likes them. And he's kind of a particular cat. So based on his body weight, he's definitely at risk for diabetes. I'm starting him on this. I'm gonna be giving him three of these, these little crunchy guys a day. And you like them, Cassian. There is very few studied natural ingredients which have shown to be helpful for diabetes. I'm like, hmm. I'm just really excited to learn about a new one and share it with you guys. And there's a couple of other like foundational things I wanna mention before you start grabbing a supplement. So number one, you gotta get rid of the kibble. Like Cassian, he is not eating kibble. I'm like, yep, and this is actually a pretty darn good kibble, but no more kibble for Cassian. Cassian's now getting this single ingredient turkey. That's it. This is just can 100% turkey or this single ingredient chicken, can 100% chicken. I've eliminated the carbohydrates. Cassian is on animal protein as his source of food. And I was finding in vet practice when I did this, and that was just a few years ago, over half the cats come off insulin. Like just half the cats. You get rid of the kibble, you get them onto canned high protein food or something that you make yourself at home, or whether you make a homey diet. But essentially it is protein that your cat gets. And that's what he's getting. Because he's eating animal protein, he's got a complex food which is not rapidly broken down. It's slowly broken down in his intestinal tract. He's not seeing those blood sugar spikes. His pancreas doesn't have to work extra hard. His cells no longer have to try to figure out what to do with all this glucose. They don't get confused by the insulin not working. Guess what? By eating the protein. So this is, plays such a big role in not causing the blood sugar to spike. More than anything else, you wanna take anything from the video, like this, it. Get rid of kibble high protein food. And then the next thing, if you were looking at a simple supplement, you're sort of asking me like Dr. Jones, like, is there one other simple thing I could start with that's relatively inexpensive? I would have you look at these guys, the omega-3 fatty acids. Yes, we have our own brand, you know, Dr. Jones' ultimate omega-3 fatty acids for dogs and cats. It doesn't need to be that, but a good quality with essential fatty acid supplements with high levels of EPA, DHA. And the reason I'm saying that specifically for diabetes and prediabetes is number one, the essential fatty acids, they're proven to aid in insulin sensitivity. They make the insulin far more effective so that the cells can then respond to that insulin, take up the blood sugar. This is what we see in our cats that have type two diabetes. And number two, the essential fatty acids, they've been shown to be an aid in weight loss. They increase metabolic rate. They actually make the mitochondria, the powerhouses of the cell, more efficient. They're burning more fat. And when they're going through more fat, 
we're actually increasing and preserving lean muscle mass, which is kind of what we want. And then they're anti-inflammatory. So we think, especially for many of our animals that are diabetic, they have chronic local grade inflammation that can affect either the pancreas, so it's not as effective, not producing enough insulin, or it can affect the cells. So your cat cells, your dog cells, they no longer respond to the insulin that's present. If we can decrease in that level of inflammation, then the rest of the body is so much more efficient and effective. So yeah, the simple little inexpensive omega-3 fatty acid supplements, they can do that. And I'm just gonna show you how I give these to Cassian. So with Cassian, he gets the omega-3 fatty acids every day. They're also helping for his underlying allergies. He does a little bit of itching, possibly has a food allergy, maybe environmental, I don't know. But the omega-3 fatty acids are great for that. So they cover so many different conditions, even helping for our cats or dogs that have arthritis. So what I'll do is I'll take two of the EFAs. He's on 1,000 milligrams a day for a krill supplement. I put it into this this handy dandy little garlic press. Then I squish it over top of his canned food. See that? No muss, no fuss. Dr. Jones's patent and garlic press. It's not, it's just a garlic press. Um, but our garlic, he does taste kind of fish oil like, but eh, it's for our cat's health. And he likes that, he'll scarf that up every day. So there it is. Yummy, Cassian. So if you have a diabetic animal, specifically a diabetic cat, I encourage you to research and look into this as Peptodia. It's got some great clinical studies behind it. You know, pretty simple thing. Three little tiny crunchy treats to give your cat a day to help man manage blood sugar. I think that's an awesome option. But then don't forget about the basics I talked about. You're getting rid of the kibble. You're substituting for a single ingredient animal protein like the turkey. That's it. No more carbs, just protein as a source of energy, a source of food. And I'd also encourage you to think about adding in just a good quality essential fatty acid supplement because it can do so many good things for your cat and your dog, specifically helping them manage diabetes. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets of this new diabetic remedy for our pets. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. Then when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.